Hi everyone, this is Tyrena Jones. I'm here with an additional recording for how to run a certified payroll report in QuickBooks um, as a follow-up to the QuickBooks for Prevailing Wage. And so it's a quite a simple report. You do need to have everything set up as I outlined in the original webinar. But once everything's set up and you've run your, your payroll, you can click reports. Then you go to employees and payroll. And we go to more payroll reports in Excel. So you have to have a current version of Excel installed for this to work. And we click certified payroll report. If your macros aren't enabled, you need to enable that content. And this information is something you may need to print if your report isn't operating properly. Go ahead and print this report out so that you can get that information and get it set up properly. Hit continue. You've got 90 days to go ahead and create this report. I'm gonna choose five, six. Um, there's nothing under options and settings you may need unless you have an alternate connection necessary. So if you're having trouble connecting, I'm going to cancel. So now we're going to click Get QuickBooks Data. All right, so we'll click Next. We'll complete our address, put in your license number. You can include your EIN or not. Click Next. Now, in this case, I'm choosing my job one, and I'm going to put a name for the report is job one. You can customize this however you want. If you have a contract number or project number, payroll week, you can change that. It's not going to remember that for you necessarily, so you'll need to um, manage that. Click Next. <clears throat> Who's going to sign the form? You can type over that. You can type in the title. And then you can select both of these fringe benefits that were paid. And then you have these other options. Apply fringe benefits to the project only. Include sick vacation accrual. Um, and then if you need to include socials and employee addresses, you can. Let's click Create. And so it was been pre created, and so you have two worksheets, certified payroll and the signature page. Um, and so you'll need to go through. If you don't track time in QuickBooks or you don't track fringes, you'll need to complete these on the payroll, the sheets yourself. So click OK. Now you have four tabs here down at the bottom. You have the first one, which is a certified payroll report, the signature page the fringe detail, and how they're doing the calculations. So you want to go through this report and confirm it to the information that you have, that you know what this should look like. It'll have the employee name, ID, work classification, um, pay rate, hours worked. See, we don't have hours in here because we didn't use the timesheet function. I just keyed in straight hours. But if you have that information, you can put that in. So you can override these fields. So you want to be careful with that. <clears throat> All right. And we did not actually print a check. But if you had direct deposit, you can have that in there. You can put DD, that kind of thing. So this will be the payroll sheet, the certified payroll. <clears throat> this is your signature page. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so you can fill in all of the pertinent information into the signature page. The fringe detail just gives you the explanation on how everything's being calculated. And then an explanation of those calculations. So at that point, once you're happy that your report is accurate, then you can print it out along with the signature page and you can submit it as you normally would need to. So that's it, the CPR report in a nutshell. If you have any further questions, you can reach me at tyrena at tyrenajones.com, and I hope you found this helpful. Thank you.